www.classcap.com slash en slash tutor slash hobby dash hometown Learn languages while having fun Please check out my website on the comments Enjoy the video Okay, we're gonna talk about questions um, So, we have Kian Kian is so Kian is who's right? Like who's yeah. who's no no this is saying actually in English. In English you're always gonna say who. Okay, why do we have two of them in Spanish? Because in Spanish we have the singular who yeah. and mm -hmm. the plural who. So when you ask yeah. about more than one pers per, uh, person, you're gonna say quienes, for example. Who are those? Okay, quienes. Quienes son esos. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Or who are uh, they? Quienes son ellos? No? Oh, yeah. Okay. So, so you're gonna say quienes, or you talk about one more than one person. Yeah. Okay. So the first one, like quien ha venido. So who is coming? Kind of like who is? No, this is the past. Oh, okay. This is past. Okay. Who okay, so... has come? Come. Yeah. Who has come? Mm -hmm. yeah. Exactly. So basically, we use this one as it says here for people. Yeah. Okay. 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 This is very easy. This is what. Yeah. Yeah. Okay. Yeah. pasa? So what's the matter? What's wrong okay. with you? Estoy cansada. I'm tired. Yeah. Okay. Easy. Yeah? Okay. Okay. We have. Mm -mm. Qual means which. Oh. Okay. Cool. Um. So. Which one do you prefer? Okay. Which... Mm -hmm. This one. Yes. Quanto, quanto is how much, not qual, sorry. Exactly. Yeah. Qual is to you? Which one is your son? Son, yeah. Mm -hmm. The tall one. Mm -hmm. Okay, notice uh, also important. We don't really say one. Uh, like you do in English in this kind of... So when you have the adjective, you can say just the adjective. Like here, auto or this one, yeah. So you okay. say just este. You don't really oh. need to say este uno, no. Oh, okay. Okay, don't. another one. Donde? No. Where? Yeah. I'm gonna add another one, which is not here, which is different. A donde? So you have donde? And a donde. To talk about place. Yeah. Okay. So para el lugar, as it says here. A donde is for destiny, direction. Yeah. Right. yeah. A donde vamos. Like, where... Exactly. A donde vamos. Where are we going? And of course, you also have de donde. But this is actually two words. So, de donde. Okay. So, donde vives. Where do you live? Donde vives. Mm. En esa casa. Okay. Mm. Cuando. Easy okay. as well. When. Yeah. Cuando. Mm -hmm. So, time, yeah? Mm -hmm. When empieza la película? When does the film start? Mm -hmm. Okay, not so, so the question is quite for, quite common. It's not, I mean, it's not mandatory, but it's quite common to have an inversion. Like, or you say, who is she in English, more or less? Mm -hmm. So, not as the verb is, is placed before the subject. Okay. I mean, it's not mandatory, but this is what we usually do in a question. Okay, como. This is how. Mm -hmm. So, como se va al ayuntamiento? Por esta calle. Yeah? Okay. Mm -hmm. Now we have the one you use for how much or how many. Yeah. Mm -hmm. So, remember this cuánto, cuánta, cuántos, cuántas. Me... Both how much and how many. We don't really distinguish. I mean, you're going to change the word according to the number and gender, as it's yeah, usually so the case in Spanish. Familia, so. so, for example, here. ¿Cuánto le debo? Why we say cuánto? Because we talk about el dinero. So, masculine yeah. singular. Okay. Eh? Okay. ¿Cuánta leche quieres? Okay. Uh, here, we use the family. Why? Because la leche. Mm -hmm. okay? mm -hmm. Yeah, ¿Cuánto yeah, arroz ha comprado? 
So, yeah. how right. much rice? Yeah. Mm -hmm. Okay, when you have a uh, plural, for example, here, años. los años, yeah? ¿cuántos eight. años tienes? So in English, exactly. ¿Cuántas patatas quieres? Yeah. So um, you're going to change according to the gender or number of the thing yeah. you're asking. Yeah? So, yeah. Okay, que slash qua. <clears throat> okay, uh, there is a little issue. Uh, many times in English, you're gonna say a different um, question pronoun. Let's call it that. Uh, for example, sometimes you're gonna say in English, for example, como. Let's talk about this one. Uh -huh. So in English you say, uh, what is your house like, right? Okay. In that case, we never use que in Spanish. We will say, okay. como es tu casa? Como es, yeah, so como is what, tu casa is your house, and es is, is. But that's the case. Actually, como means how. Uh, so it's like okay. saying, how does you how, okay, actually in English you don't say, but it's more like say, how is the appearance of your house, more yeah, or less, it, yeah? It, yeah. But bear that in mind, why do we say that in, in Spanish? Because in Spanish, remember, we have two verbs to be. So we say, como esta, uh -huh. you mean, how is it in oh, English? Yeah. Mm -hmm. And como es, when you mean, what is it like? Uh -huh. Okay. Remember that. Also, you're going to have an issue with que and cual. And sometimes you're going to say what in English and you're going to say cual in Spanish. Or que. It depends. Mm -hmm. So it's not, as you can see, it's not um, like is, como, okay. que. It's, it's not like that, like that at all. So you have to look at the context. For example, um, okay, many, most of the time it's going to be que equals what, as simple as that, um, cual equals which, but not always, okay? Bear that in mind. Que van a tomar? So what are you going to have? Okay. Remember also, um, when we talk about food, uh, consumption, drinking, etc., we say tomar, we do not say tener, okay? Mm -hmm. Although in English you say to have a sandwich, to have a beer, we don't say that in Spanish. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. That's why if you happen to speak in English with a Spaniard, they're going to say things like, I'm taking coffee, okay? Uh, okay. Because then we use this verb in Spanish, okay? If I am having coffee, they say I am taking coffee. Then, okay. Exactly. Mm -hmm. So remember we say tomar. Mm -hmm. So tomar means take, yeah? But we also means to have something to eat or have something to drink. Que mm dicho? Que vendrá mañana? Okay. So, easy, yeah? Yeah, it's okay. Yeah, it can be what, it can be like... Uh, it, can, it can be what, it can be which, sometimes. Which. Most of the time, what, okay? And which, most of the time, is going to be qual, but many of the time, it's going to be que. So, there is not a clear cut distinction. Depends. Okay, you also want to use que with a noun. So, que plus a noun. Que bocadillas quieres? Okay. El de jamón. So, bocadillo is a panini, okay? And which or what panini, yeah, it is, and then it is el de jamón, okay? Mm -hmm. So, the one with ham, yeah? One with ham, okay. Okay, when do you use cual? Okay, basically in Spanish, you're going to use cual when you talk about uh, a category, okay? For example... ¿Cuál from the books has elegido para Elena? So, ¿cuál has elegido para Elena? So, you talk about a limited number. Okay? Okay. Yeah, there's less level. Or you talk about a category. Okay. Let me give you another example. You're going to say clear cut the difference. So, in English, you usually say, What's your name? Yeah. Yeah. Mm -hmm. In Spanish, you usually say, como te llamas? Yeah. As you already know. Mm -hmm. But you could also say, ¿Cuál well, es tu nombre? Mm -hmm. yeah. So you're going to say, ¿Cuál? 
Why? Because you talk about a category. All the category of all the na names in the world, which one is yours? Yeah? But actually, we say como te llamo most of the time, to be honest. But for example, what's your favorite color? Okay. ¿Cuál es tu color favorito? favorito? Favorito. So, when you talk about a category or you talk about choosing, we usually say cuál. Okay? So this is a clear case where in English you use what. Okay? You don't say which color is your favorite. Not really. You say what's your favorite color. Um, and you can also say cuál es tu color preferido, by the way. Yeah, preferred, yeah, preferred color. Mm -hmm. um, okay. Easy peasy, yeah. Uh, mm -hmm. Okay. So, what is the country most populated in the Hispan America? So, which what country? is the most populated country in Spanish or Latin America? Mm -hmm. Yeah, yeah. Creo que Mexico. No. Mexico. 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 Yeah. Okay, this is a good example. So, this, okay, actually. Okay, let me explain this. Um, so this is probably the only word in Spanish where you have an X and it's pronounced like a J. Okay. And you talk about Spanish sound. Yeah? Mm -hmm. Why? Because um, in ancient Spanish, this sound, this particular sound used to be written with an X. Mm -hmm. I'm talking about 50, 60 century Spanish. Okay. okay. Um, also because in the Nahuatl, which is the language of uh, the, the Tecan people, yeah, the X is, is the choice, I mean, mm -hmm. it's the letter you, you use to, to produce this sound. Mm -hmm. But in the Spanish nowadays, I mean, if you look at all the Spanish, probably you're going to see written like this, with a J. Okay. But nowadays, most people will use an X, and probably it's the only word you write uh, Mexico, I mean, you write this sound like ha 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 with an uh -huh. X instead of a J. Probably is the only word. And it's because of historical reason, blah blah blah. Like most of the, for example, my proper name is written with a J. Yeah. With, yeah. But no, yeah. So in Spanish, we, we say Mexico even though it's, it's written with an X. Mm -hmm. We don't really say Mexico now. Nobody would say Mexico. Mm -hmm. Like Mexico, Mexico, Mexico. Uh, Mexicano, yeah. Mm -hmm. um, and probably if you, if one day you wake up crazy, you want to read the quick salt, <laughs> <laughs> and in the original, it's written like this. Oh, even but, though yeah, it no. is pronounced like this. This is pronunciation really? Quixote. Yeah. But in all the Spanish, it used to be written with an X. I. Because um, because J okay in old times J and I uh, was pretty much the same letter. Okay. Like actually the letter J, it's like an extension of the letter I, mm -hmm. and the same happened with the U and V. They used to be the same letter. I, I mean, like two versions of the same sound, mm -hmm. and that also happens in in, in the Latin language. If, for example, if you read, um, for example, if you read the the Latin inscription in some of the old buildings, you can see like there are many v V's they actually use. Uh -huh. Anyway, <laughs> let's talk about Spanish, not Latin. Yeah. Uh, but yeah, in the end of the day, Spanish, Portuguese, French, they are like uh, children of the Latin language. Yeah. I mean, yeah, very quick thing. So, dibujar, what was the meaning? I have forgotten in the, the mira los dibuj dibujos. Dibujos. Like, yeah. So. These are dibujos, like drawings. Oh, drawings. Okay, okay. Paintings. Okay, painting. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Okay. Mm -hmm. Okay. So, the, the verb is dibujar. Yeah. What do you oh, yeah. think dibujar means? So, paint, kind of. To draw. Draw. Okay, paint. Yeah, draw. Mm -hmm. So dibujo is a drawing or a paint or you know, a picture, yeah? Yeah, yeah. Illustration, you both call it, yeah? Okay. 
So, ¿qué estás haciendo? So, so water. you have, exactly, so this is the answer to the question. Yeah, water Estoy navegando en internet. Navigating in the internet. Yeah. Exactly. ¿Cómo es tu coche nuevo? ¿Cómo es tu, ok. So, which one of these would be the logical answer? Uh, so, com, como es tu, so, so it will be how is your new car, so, you know, uh, uh, so it will be tres, I think, like, you know, mm -hmm. pero muy práctico. Pequeño, pero muy práctico. Yeah. In English, you would say, what is your new car like? Yeah. yeah. Mm -hmm. Remember, if you want to say how is, you need to change the verb and use a star instead, okay? Okay, yeah, this is the tricky part, actually, yes. Yeah. So I understand. Mm -hmm. yeah, this is the... So remember, como es, what is it like, como está, how is it? Okay. Yeah. Como es, como es, yeah. Okay, Fe. ¿Quién trabaja en esta película? Ah, this one is easy. Antonio Banderas. Yeah, so, yeah, so who, so, like... Work in the film. Who works in this film? Yeah, Antonio. ¿Y cuál te gusta más? Which one do you like more? Like more. And esta. So, so this esta. One. This, this one. one. Yeah. Easy peasy. Okay, let's practice how much, how many. So remember, you have to look at the at the context here. Yeah, plural, singular, and male, female, kind of, okay. Exactly. So, for example, number one, you're going to say cuantos, or the next. Yeah, Because you talk about hijos, los sons. hijos. And multiple sons, so sons, okay. Okay, number two. Okay, so, uh, cuantas al uh, uh, alumnas mm hay -hmm. en tu clase? Mm -hmm. So, how many female students? Yeah, yeah. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. yeah. Tres. Uh, Uh, they have posted the libro de gramática, so it will be cuánto they have posted. Cuánto, of course, because we talk about money. Like, yeah, yeah. We don't really need to say dinero, like yeah. cuánto dinero. Like mm -hmm. we understand when you make, well, it's like in English, you don't really say how much money, you just say how much, yeah? Mm -hmm. The same. So you just say cuánto, um, mm -hmm. especially if you have the verb costar, we understand we talk about money. Yeah, like in the restaurant, they say cuánto cuesta, kind of. Like, mm -hmm. so ¿Cuánto cuesta? Exactly. So, okay, so, so, agua ha caído uh, en Andalucía. So, agua, so, ¿cuánto? Uh, uh, so it's singular. Mm. Uh, it's Actually, uh, it's cuánta agua. Yeah, agua, okay. <laughs> yeah, this is the mm. I'm going to explain something to you, which is going to blow your mind. <laughs> okay, probably you think agua is masculine. Because it's true, we say el agua. Uh, But right. however, however, we say las aguas. Uh, okay. If you look at that, you can say, why do you say el and then you say las if el is masculine and las is feminine? Well, the reason is, um, in Spanish, um, we use el for, um, so Basically, la is going to become el when the next word starts with an accented a sound. Um, For example, agua. So you notice this word starts with an a and uh -huh. the stress goes on, the, on that very syllable. Mm -hmm, mm -hmm. So whenever the next word starts with the sound a, so it could be a or it could be h a because, mm -hmm. you know, H is silent in Spanish. Mm -hmm, mm -hmm. And that is the stressed syllable. La is going to become L. Why? To avoid uh, bad sounding. Uh -huh. okay. Okay. So okay. that yeah. also happens with some of the uh, okay. names, like, like nouns. So like, for example, we say helada, or we say el hacha, or uh -huh. el águila. But all of those are feminine. How do I know? Because in the plural we say las hadas, las aguas, uh, las uh, las águilas, um, yeah, las hachas. Yeah, this so, actually yeah. you have to speak and kind of and this is hard to kind of like get with a feeling without speaking a lot, kind of. Because... 
You get used to it, don't worry. So remember, agua, you say el agua, you say las aguas. Okay, so it's actually feminine. Yeah. I know, I know, it's weird. That's okay. Cinco. ¿Cuántas preguntas tenía el examen? Mm -hmm. So, ¿cuántas preguntas tenía el examen matemático? Muy bien, son las preguntas. Seis. Uh, ¿Cuántos de, de Alejandro Sanz uh -huh. tienes? Uh, ¿Cuánto? Uh, ok, it should be ¿cuántos uh, CDs? It should be plural, actually. Yeah, so, but, ¿Cuántos yeah. CDs? How many CDs? De... Yeah, uh -huh. ¿Cuántos CDs de Alejandro Sanz tienes? Vale. Siete. Uh, ¿Cuántas ganas uh, al mes en la empresa nueva? Ok, again, we talk about money. Oh, oh, oh ok, sorry. Ganas, yeah. Um, yeah. So, ganas, ok, ganas, is... in this particular case, is the verb, is to, to make ganar. money, yeah? Yeah, ganar, I think, from the... Ganar, exactly. So, ganar is one of the, all the you know, it's, it's, it's a word that means a lot of things in English. Mm -hmm. Um, so it could be to win, it could be to beat someone, it could be to make money or to earn, um, to gain, yeah? Yes, yeah, so, so here it is asking how much uh, more money you, in the new company kind of like, so. So how much money do you make in the new in company? The yeah, mm -hmm. Ocho. Uh, okay, so. Tomates uh, as trader. So tomatoes will be uh, quantos tomatoes? Uh, quantos tomates? So tomato or tomato. Mm -hmm. I say tomato, you say tomato. <laughs> Nine. Okay. Uh, azúcar, quieres en el café, so sugar. Uh, so um, uh, cuánta? Uh, uh, cuánto? Uh, cuánto? 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 Mm -hmm. Yeah, because in Costa Rica, I always have to say, like, sin azúcar in, 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 in Sin the azúcar, mm -hmm. yeah. Sugar mm -hmm. is sugar. Yeah. So, cuánta, so, cuánta azúcar quieres en el café? Yeah. Mm -hmm. Okay, good job. This is very easy. I think so, yeah. I don't okay. know. Trickier, yeah. Okay, this one is going to be a little bit trickier. So we have que, we have como, cual, donde, quien, quienes, y cuando. Okay. I so think that exam... mm -hmm. well, como and que, these are the more trickier ones. Quien, mm -hmm. quien, cuando, donde, are relatively, I would say, easier. It's a matter of practice. So, como se hace la tortilla de patatas? Con okay. huevo, patata y cebolla. Okay. So, how is it done? Yeah? Okay. Yeah. Notice we use this se. When you talk about a uh, no particular person, like in mm. general, how is done? Yeah, we usually say this say. Like say in this case means no particular person in general. Okay. So in English you would say how is it done? But in Spanish okay. you say how one makes, you know, something like that. So okay. how does one make uh, uh, Potato omelette or the Spanish omelette, typical Spanish omelette. Dos. Okay, so it's el pico más, más alto del mundo. So, uh, el pico más alto. Uh, mm, okay, pico means the peak. Yeah. Yeah. Okay, the peak so of a mountain, like a Mount yeah. Everest. Yeah. yeah so, so más alto means more taller than yeah, the like, tallest or so the highest yeah tallest, yeah, tallest in the world kind of so, mm -hmm. so it should be like rich so so it should mm -hmm. be cuál es el cuál es el pico más alto del mundo and the answer will be so, el Everest no mm -hmm, mm -hmm. el Everest no mm -hmm. tres okay has comprado uh, Estos muebles. So have you bought this? Uh, so, mm, so as comprado. So, so it so it can be when. So it can be cuando because when have you bought? Uh, cuando has comprado estos muebles? Yeah. Yeah. 
He could be. Yeah. Cuando cuando has comprado estos muebles? Yeah, so when then... when did you buy this furniture? Yeah. Mm -hmm. Right. And I would say something like, hmm, or it could be donde as well. Okay. Where did you it buy it? It could be. It? it could be both actually. Donde or yeah. cuando? Yeah. If it is donde, it can be en una tienda del centro, so in one shop. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Okay. Cuatro. Okay. Eh, 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 uh, uh. Llamado por teléfono. So, llamado, what did you talk? Uh, so, uh, so, it can be what? So, what did you talk over mm -mm. teléfono? Uh, mm -mm. Okay, so, what is llamar? So, so yeah. llamar is uh, like name kind of call, like, like. Uh, uh -uh. So, again, it's like, like the other day I told you, llamar is not llamarse. Ah, oh, okay. You are mistaking one for the other. Okay. This is not this is not to be named. Okay, this is to call. Call, yeah, call. Okay, okay. So, sure. so okay. So, yeah. So, so it it can be when. So, when. Mm, when. Okay. Do you understand telephone? Yeah, phone, right? Phone or telephone. Yeah. So I would say, quién ha llamado por teléfono. Okay. Oh, who did you call? Okay, okay, okay. Who called? Who okay. called by phone? Yeah? Okay. Quien ha llamado? Okay. For example, mi tía Julia. Yeah? Mi tía Julia ha yeah. llamado. Mm -hmm. Ha llamado. So this is an L or A. Yeah, L or A. Yeah. So, yeah. So mm -hmm. who, who called you over telephone? Okay. Who called? Yeah. Who yeah. called? Okay. Who phone? Mm -hmm. okay. Quien. Okay. Quien. Cinco. Okay. Okay, as as H and L fin de semana. So you have uh, last week. So I can say what here because what mm -hmm. did you? Que has hecho el fin de semana? Que has hecho mi fin de semana? And you could answer nada especial. Nada especial okay. Okay. For example, yeah. Okay. Seis. Uh, okay. Uh, pantalones. Uh, Te, te gustan más, okay. So pantalones, yeah. So it can be which which pantalon you like. Mm, no, when you have an uh, uh, a noun here, mm -hmm. we usually say qué. Qué pantalones te gustan más? Okay. What pantalon? Okay. okay. So what pantalones so, you like more, kind of? Okay. What is pantalones, by the way? Is pants like pants? Uh, yeah. Yes. Pants or trousers in the UK, yeah? Mm -hmm. yeah. Seven. Okay. Um, e, e una papele, papele, papelera. E, e una. Papelería. Okay, papelería. Okay, many times, this is a trick you can use. If you don't understand a long word, so this is a long word, yeah? Uh -huh. What you could do is to look inside. Okay. So if you look, at, if you look inside, you're going to see the word papel, right? Okay. So probably you don't know what papel is, right? Yeah, I don't actually. <laughs> you don't? It might be something simple. <laughs> it's very similar to English. Papel. No? What about if I do this? Oh, paper. Okay. Okay. Mm -hmm. <laughs> okay. So, it's something related to paper. Okay. 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 Yeah, okay. What do you think papeleria is? It's related to paper. So some note or some paper, some newspaper or something like that. Some... Mm, no. Okay. Let me give you uh, another little trick. Okay. Uh, so when you talk about shops in Spanish, okay, you're going to use this suffix, eria. Okay. So for example... Canitería, uh, frutería, frutería okay, so. pescadería. Okay. okay, so these are different kind of shops, okay? Okay, so pescadería is a fish shop, or frutería is a fruit es a, shop. Exactly. So, papelería mm -hmm. is a, like a paper shop, like a magazine exactly, shop. Exactly, a stationery shop. Mm -hmm. okay. Stationery okay. shop, yeah. Okay. So it's a place where you can buy paper, you can buy pencils, okay. you know, this okay. kind of stationery. Okay. So, 
So, so, then, so a una papeleria. So it's kind of, I can say where. So it can be where, right? Donde, like, donde, okay. Mm -hmm. okay. donde hay una papeleria. Donde hay una papeleria. Mm -hmm. okay. And you could say en la calle Goya, for example. Okay. Okay. Ocho. Okay, vendrán a la cena. So, uh, okay. Several possibilities here. So it can be when, right? Because vendrán. Yeah, cuando, cuando vendrán. When will they come? Or yeah. you could also say, who will come? Who will come? Quién es? Quién es? Yeah. Okay. Quién es vendrá? Why quién es? Because you're saying vendrá, which is plural. Yeah. Okay. So, so you have to the, use quién es. The answer can be loli y jore. Por ejemplo. Right. So quiénes vendrán a la cena? Who will come? Who yeah. are coming? Yeah. Okay. Notice this is the future. Yeah? Yeah. So the venir, we say vendrá. They will right. come, yeah? Future, yeah, yeah. Okay. Nueve. Uh, prefieres uh, esta o esa? So, so the, the thing is, I think, um, so, it, so it can be, you know, it shouldn't be who, it should be which, because it is Exactly. Esta. So, so cuál, cuál prefieres, esta o esa? And if there were two names, then I could have said quienes prefieres, like, uh, like esta. Mm, okay, if I ask quién es prefiere, it means who do you prefer? Right, exactly. So then, like instead of esta o esa, let's say there were two names like Loli y. Mm -hmm. o, o, so quién pref quién prefieres, Loli yeah. o Pepa? Mm -hmm. yeah. Exactly. So quién prefieres? But in this case, ¿cuál prefiere? This one or that one? Yeah, esta okay. o esa. Okay. Mm -hmm. Yes. Okay, so te, te vas a casar. So it should be when here, right? When mm -hmm. cuando te cuando, cuando yeah. te, te vas a casar. Mm -hmm. O donde te vas a casar could be as well. Right, yeah, Where right. are you gonna get married? Yeah. 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 I would say que uh, no, sorry, cuando <laughs> cuando te vas a casar. Where are you getting married? Yeah. Mm -hmm. yeah. Then it can be the answer. It could be oh. no, el año que viene. Yeah? Um, next, yeah. year. Yeah. next year. Next year. Once. Once. Uh, te ha salido el examen. So again, it will be when do you go out for the exam? So it can mm -hmm. be when again here, right? Like. Mm -hmm. uh, no. <laughs> uh, try try another one. Okay. Te ha, okay. Te ha salido. So this is in a as a. So when he salido is going out. Exam, okay, this is the verb that is confusing you. Yes, you're right. Salir is go out. Yeah. But it has another meaning. Um, so you could say go out or get out, mm -hmm. saying salir. So sal or to go out with someone, romantically mm -hmm. speaking. So salgo con esta chica, yeah, or salgo a la calle, salgo a pasear, yeah. But you could also say salir when you mean um, to get out of a situation or yeah, okay. how you come out of something. So, so what you... is the result of something after you did it? Uh -huh. So we use this particular verb when you talk about an exam. So you, I want to know how well you did it. Okay, uh -huh. how well you did it at exam. Yeah. So in this particular case, I would say, ¿Cómo te ha salido el examen? Yeah. How, How did you do the exam? Did you, was it good, bad? Okay. Yeah. Salido el... So, ¿cómo te ha salido el examen? O, ¿cómo te ha salido la entrevista? Yeah. The, yeah, okay. So, salir is a verb we use to talk about the result of something as mm -hmm. well. Um, yeah. So, I could say, ¿cómo ha salido eh, la operación? For example, yeah? Very, very common. So you could say, yo creo que bien. This is what most people say. <laughs> when, they, when they are not sure, eh, I think I'm, I'm going to get a good result. Okay, so I quiere... think I'm going to pass. Mm -hmm. uh, ¿Quieres hacer mañana? So what, uh, what, what do you want to have in the morning? Then? Yeah, ¿qué quieres hacer mañana? I would say. Yeah, so where, ¿Qué quieres what? hacer? Okay. So you yeah. could answer, mm, no sé, a lo mejor voy a decir. Yeah. Mm -hmm. 
And let me just uh, repeat that uh, Yamado thing again. So, so Jamar is to talk, right? Like if I nope. just use. No, 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 no. Let's review okay. that. Okay. To talk, okay. To talk, we don't, we do not say Jamar. Okay. okay. <laughs> Write it down. Jamar is not to talk. Okay. To talk is hablar with an H. Hablar, yeah, yeah, hablar, okay. Okay, llamar is to call. To call, oh, okay. To call, okay. okay. Yeah, yeah, I think the, your problem is you're thinking of como te llamas. Yeah, right, right, right. But remember, when you say como te llamas, you're not saying llamar, you're saying llamarse. Mm -hmm. Okay, that's why you have to say te. Mm -hmm. You don't really, okay. If I ask you como llamas, I would say, how do you call? Ah, uh, okay, okay, okay. So notice this T, this T word changes everything. Okay, yeah, I think one way to remember is always think Jamar with telephone. So you always call over telephone. So this so, is the oblique way. But... When you make a, a very reflexive, mm -hmm. uh, many times it changes the whole meaning of, of, of the verb. Mm -hmm. And one particular case is the difference between correr and correr. I think I, I told you this one the other day. Mm -hmm. So correr is to run. Yeah. Correrse is to ejaculate. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> now this happened to a friend of mine. I say, me voy a correr. I say, si, sí, en serio? Right now? Are you coming right now? Are you having an ejaculation? <laughs> Are you having an orgasm right now? <laughs> so, yeah, quite, quite important. Like, sometimes the difference is not yeah. that. Actually, in that list of verbs, actually, where the reflexive is taught, like ir and irse is to exactly. go. Exactly. Irse like is to, to take off, to, to right. abandon the place, and ir right. is to go to a particular place. Yeah. yeah. Um. Okay, mm, not this one. This is okay. This one is more interesting. So now you have have que and cual. Okay, so you have to choose one over the other. So que reloj te has comprado al final? So notice when you talk about a category. Yeah, te has comprado. We say que. Okay. So in English, you should say which. When you have a limited number of choice in Spanish, uh, you could also say uh, que, like que reloj. Okay. Especially if you have the noun like que reloj, que color prefiere. So yeah. que reloj is, so let's say which watch, right? But exactly. here, mm -hmm. Here, mm -hmm. Yeah. here we say que instead of cual. Yeah, exactly. Okay. Yes, we say K because you talk about this particular category. Okay. okay. Mm -hmm. So when you have the noun straight after this, okay. you're going to say K. Okay. Say K coche, K reloj, K. Yeah. So okay. K plus noun. Okay. okay. Numero dos. Okay, so as este grado, so you studied in la universidad. Okay, so, okay, so which, so which, uh, so, mm -hmm. qual, qual has, uh, uh, oh, oh. Que ha estudiado? Okay. What, what do you study? Okay? What, it should be what, yeah, not which, yeah, sure. Yeah, so, sure. que has estudiado en la universidad? What do you study at university? Yeah, yeah. At college, yeah? Yeah, yeah. yeah. this should be. Yeah. Mm -hmm. Que has es, estudiado? Okay, es, es tu coche, este o aquel, okay, es this or that, kind of. Uh, uh, so, so this should be which is your car? So, es tu coche. So, cuál es tu coche? Este exactly. Coche. Cuál es tu coche? Yeah. Okay, this is the one that is very clear for Spanish speaker. Um, okay. Que es. Okay, when you say que es in mm -hmm. Spanish, mm -hmm. I want you to explain what that is, and I want you to give me a definition. So when I want you to choose whether it's a limited number or it's in the whole world, whatever, mm 
Mm -hmm. I would never say que es. I would say cuál es. Okay. So, if I say, um, for example, what is that? Okay. And then I would say, ¿qué es eso? Yeah? So, okay, that's a car. This is a coach. But if I say, ¿qué es tu coche? For a Spanish speaker, will think is like, okay, a car is a car. Uh -huh. You understand what I mean? Because ¿qué es? means define, define that. Give me a okay. definition of that. What is that? It doesn't mean like choose. Okay? Oh. Mm -hmm. So when I want you to choose, I said in, in this example here, que reloj, like you have the noun just after the, the word, mm -hmm. I will always say cual. Okay. Por ejemplo, cual es tu color preferido? Eh? Okay. okay. But I will say, que color te gusta? Which color you like, kind of. Right? Exactly. Okay. But it's because of the structure of the... So when you have que, and then you have a noun, it's then, like which, but you okay. need the noun just after the, uh, the um, question pronoun. Okay. Yeah? So, okay. So here, then, cuadro te gusta más. So which one you like more? So that is que cuadro... Exactly. That's the point. Yeah. So, ¿qué cuadro te gusta más? Mm -hmm. Este o okay. uh, Yeah, it's, in English we say which picture, which drawing actually. Like, which yeah. drawing do you like? Uh, Picasso or... So, um, I don't know. Mona Lisa? Yeah. Van Gogh or whatever. Yeah. Mm -hmm. I think um, Oh, has, um, has pensado sobre lo que te dije. Has pensado so you thought Okay, mm. so what, so this should be what you thought, mm -hmm. so, so it should be que, que has, que, mm -hmm. que has pensado, so what, uh, what do you think about what I told you, yeah? Right, right. Mm -hmm. So says, says, uh, uh, says uh, es su opinión sobre el tráfico de Madrid, so is your opinion on traffic in Madrid, so what, what is your opinion, so it should be. Hmm. Yeah. So, isn't it like es su opinión sobre? So, is your opinion on right? Mm -hmm. okay. So, so, so it should be what, right? What is your opinion? Hmm. Okay, give me the answer. <laughs> be, be brave. Choose one. <laughs> so, I am. I am thinking. Uh, so. Uh, Logically, I'm thinking K, but I think cuál es su opinión sounds exactly. more. Exactly. Yeah. Why? <laughs> Why? Again, in Spanish, if you say qué es. Oh, yeah, you, you just say it's that. It's like you, saying define. You, yeah, you, you just so say. It's, so it doesn't make sense, like define opinion. Yeah, okay. So you say, okay, qué es opinión. So opinion is what someone thinks. Yeah, you would say something like that. So una opinión es lo que alguien Piensa de un tema, okay? Yeah. But here I don't ask him this. I want to know your opinion. So, you say, ¿cuál es tu opinión? ¿Cuál okay. es tu opinión? So, notice. But, but, I could say, ¿qué opinión tienes? So, no it's, opinion all, it's all about the structure, okay? Yeah. It's all yeah. about the structure. As soon as I place the noun next to the word, I will say, ¿cuál opinión? Um, ¿Cuál opinión what, tienes? Yeah, yeah, so what opinion you have, kind of. Sorry, ¿qué opinión tienes? No, ¿cuál? ¿Qué opinión tienes? But, yeah. ¿cuál es tu opinión? What is your opinion and what opinion mm. you have? So, yeah, in English you would say, what's your opinion? Mm -hmm. Or what opinion do you... You're going to say the same word. Mm -hmm. The problem is, in Spanish, you're going to change the word. Okay? Mm -hmm. You're going to say, ¿qué? And sometimes you're going to say, ¿cuál? So, uh, to make it clear. When you mean which, or well, actually you say what in English, in this case, um, you have the noun afterwards, you're going to say que. So mm -hmm. que, for example, number one, before, que reloj, yeah? Que reloj, yeah. what, the watch, or which, yeah? yeah? So yeah, the noun. But you're going to say cual es, yeah? Cual es, so when you have a verb afterwards, you're going to say cual, mm -hmm. because if you say que es, it means something different. 
it's like what is that mm -hmm. give me i want to you to define that okay it's you not know, like choose that, um, do i explain myself <laughs> no. i'm no. trying to make it as clear as possible no. but it's a little bit confusing <laughs> So the reason why you have to say uh, what was qual es tu opinión is because if you say que es, yeah, this is like um, give me a definition. Yeah, and yeah. You don't. I don't really want you to define opinion. Mm -hmm, mm -hmm. I don't want to know the meaning of opinion. I want to know what your opinion is. Yeah. So qual es qual es tu opinión? Okay, siete. Okay, um, equipo, please que. Uh, Canada, Canada, equipo, es... equipo, 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 so I will explain what team means. Yeah? Okay, if you ask okay. me this, I will say, un equipo es un grupo de personas. Como okay, en so, football. Yeah? Mm -hmm. Okay, so here it is what team you like. And so, so. Okay, siete. Uh, okay, so, so, so this will be then, uh, um, then que, que, que equipo. Exactly, que, que equipo. equipo. Because the noun is just after the que. que okay. Equipo. Okay, so uh, just to make it clear. Okay, in English, you usually say which in, yeah. in these two. The problem is in Spanish, you're going to say que when you have a now afterwards. Mm -hmm. And you're going to say cual when you have yes. a verb afterwards. Yes. Uh, yeah, something like that. So uh, you will say que equipo. But you will say, um, ¿Cuál es tu opinión, for example, yeah? Okay. Yeah, sure. So, for example, ocho, it should be, ¿Cuál está diciendo el locutor en la tele? Okay. Yes. But the problem is here, in English, you don't say which. You wouldn't say, which is he saying? Yeah, no. right. What you would say, what is he saying? Yeah. So, in this particular case, you're going to say the same. You're going to yeah. say, ¿Qué? Yeah. Okay. Yes. The problem is when you, when in English you say which, or sometimes what, like what's your name. Mm -hmm. So basically, um, the problem is like you know, it's not clear cut. Mm -hmm. Like in Spanish, you're gonna say cual when you have a verb, and mm -hmm. you mean like choose one. Okay, mm -hmm. which one? Mm -hmm, mm -hmm. And you're going to say que when you have a noun. So, que, que coche te gusta? Okay. Yeah, o que color te gusta? Yeah. Okay. Okay. So, But you're going to say, cuál es tu color preferido? Uh, yeah. So, which color you prefer? So, which you're choosing? Kind of. So, yeah, this is, you know, the more you learn Spanish, uh, <laughs> the more, so, you cannot really, so this is the, this is the issue. Like, you cannot really translate directly from yeah. English into Spanish, word by word. Mm -hmm. So you cannot really uh, change just the word. You have to convey the meaning. It's like you have to uh, to choose the words in Spanish that convey the closest meaning. Mm -hmm. And sometimes like, you're going to have a huge range of words. And sometimes, um, for example, well, in English, you say, how old are you? If I take this question and I just like word by word, mm -hmm. I would say, como viejo eres? Yeah. Like, but... it doesn't make any sense in Spanish. Yeah. Like, people will say, what? What? Uh -huh. Como viejo eres? Are you calling me an old person? Yeah, right, right. Yeah, <laughs> yeah it's or, so cool. Or, yeah. I, or if I say in English, how many years do you have? It will mm. sounds weird, very weird, doesn't it? Mm. 
it's just different, you know, like each language, they have their own way of conveying me or their own personality. Uh, it's just the way it is. It's just... So, yes, when you, um, when you use Spanish, you have to not try to use your English, but try to convey your ideas, like the way it sounds more natural. Mm -hmm. And, yeah, this is a tricky one. Yeah. <laughs> um, uh, yes, it's not easy. It's just a matter of practice. Like sometimes you're gonna say "que," sometimes you're gonna say "cual," but you get you get you get the hang of it. It's not that yeah, difficult. Yeah. <laughs> okay. So um, remember, you say "cual." I think that the, the key is to learn a few sentences. So mm -hmm. you take this part. So for example, "cual es tu color preferido?" But you say "qué color te gusta?" Yeah. Okay. Yeah. If, if the noun, then "que." If you're mm -hmm. choosing "cual," it's yeah. Okay. Okay. But then you will say, ¿Qué es eso? ¿Qué es eso? Eh? Ah, okay. What is that? Mm -hmm. What is that? Yeah. Okay. Uh, so, ¿Qué está diciendo el locutor de la tele? So, locutor is, is speaker. Yeah? Speaker in the tele. So, what is he saying? What the TV. Speaker is? So, televisión, yeah. short for televisión, tele. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Okay. So, va a estudiar. So, what your son is studying? Or will be studying uh, medicine or biology. Yeah. So, so, so this will be. Uh, so, so this is what, but this will be qual here, right? Because the verb. Mm, like, mm, no. Okay. 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 Okay, this uh vas a ponerte, so what did you put on? El estilo azul or blue or blue? Es lo mismo, no? Yeah. <laughs> so uh okay, so so this should be also then que, que vas a ponerte mm -hmm. because I'm yeah. Do you remember ponerte, ponerse? Put, put on, yeah. So put, exactly. Put, so ponerte is reflexive, so you so um what are you going to put on? Put. Yeah. Okay, actually, this is the problem. Like in English, you will say, "Which one are you going to put on? Yeah, the like blue dress or the black dress?" Like, yeah. So I just matched with the previous one, so it was mm -hmm. the structure the same, right? Ba mm -hmm. is to the earth. So mm -hmm. Your son is studying. Okay. The same. The on the mm -hmm. Okay, Chris. Uh, uh, Chris, to uh, que es mejor ir en metro o and that's about so okay so which so we, which one you like more or to to go uh, in metro or in, okay or these 11 and 12 are two very good examples to understand the difference okay okay, okay i'm gonna tell you this one the okay. 11 and 12 so in, okay. in 11 okay um okay so in 11 i'm uh, i'm asking about the mean of transport yeah yeah. So I'm mm -hmm. telling you which one is better. Yeah. Mm -hmm. This transport, this means transport, this one, yeah? So mm -hmm. or going by uh, um, underground, sure. yeah? Or bus, or, yeah. or the subway, yeah? Mm -hmm. So metro, yeah? Or autobus, or bus, mm -hmm. yeah? Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. So this guy will say, ¿Qué? ¿Qué? ¿Qué crees que, que, que es tú que es mejor? Okay, okay, okay. Now, um... Uh, number 12, however, I'm going to say cual. Okay. Um, and the reason is because I have the two options just in front of you. And I, and I like, I have a limited choice. Yeah. So which one do you think is best? This one or this one? Okay. Okay. But in 11, it's like I'm asking about your opinion okay yeah because mm. to me 11 and 12 the structure is very similar the only difference is in 11 mm, we yeah, have yeah yeah it's not over and 12 it is s the so kind of this okay or that. in this case it's like for us there are two different kind of question um okay i'm gonna explain this one um okay que crees tu que es mejor and cual crees tu que es mejor Okay, so, ¿qué crees tú que es mejor? It's like saying, 
what do you think is the best? What do you think is best? Yeah. Okay. 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 Going by un uh, underground or by subway okay. or going uh, by bus. Bus. Yeah. Mm -hmm. So, what is your best option or okay. your best uh, choice? Yeah. Mm -hmm. Now, when I say "cuál crees tú que es mejor," I'm giving you a limited number of choice. Okay. And I say this one or that one. Okay. And I have it here in front of you. I see, I see, I see. It's a little bit yeah. tricky actually. Because <laughs> the difference is yeah, um, the problem okay. is like in English you don't really distinguish between yeah. that. Okay, let's go um, let's go through all of the same example. So notice here. ¿Qué van a tomar? What are you going to have? Yeah. Okay. ¿Qué ha dicho? ¿Qué ha dicho? What did he What did he say? Yeah. Okay. ¿Qué más nombre? ¿Qué bocadillo prefieres? Okay. So, ¿Qué bocadillo? Yeah. Okay. El de jamón. Yeah. Now, why are you going to use it with the verb? Uh, when you mean uh, a category. Which the speaker and the listener know. Okay. okay. Por ejemplo, yeah. ¿cuál has elegido para Elena? Okay, so here when I say ¿cuál has elegido? Because I know uh, the items we are talking about. Okay. For example, imagine we are going to buy something for a friend and we have like two books, for example. So I want to know which one. Okay. But I could also say ¿qué has elegido? If I say ¿qué has elegido? It's like, I don't know exactly what the uh, limitation are. It's like, what do you, what do you choose? Uh, a bike, uh, a car, um, what oh, yeah, kind of present? Indian kind of, rather than a limited choice. Exactly. Life. So when we say qual, it's like more limited. Uh -huh. And that's why okay. it was qual esto o este, because this is, it is this or that. Exactly. And previously it was so a, you're gonna, exactly. So you're going to say qual? When you talk about a category, mm -hmm. for example, ¿cuál es el país? So here, the country, we're yes. talking about countries, mm -hmm. okay, countries yes. in Latin America, specifically this category, okay? Mm -hmm. So, um, for example, if I say, ¿cuál es el país más rico del mundo? Yeah? Okay. So I have like a a limited Three. choice, yeah? Yeah. yeah. Or, for example, when I ask you, ¿cuál es tu nombre? I'm talking about the category of proper Name. names, yeah? yeah. Mm -hmm. I, I don't know if that makes it a little bit clearer. Um, don't worry if it's still confusing. Yeah, but yeah, um, yeah this is the first day. This is okay, actually. Mm, okay. We're going to take a look at this article here. Uh, okay, we're gonna, okay, directo. So this means live. Okay. Live. Okay, can, can I re read this, the, the headline? Di uh, directo, la apertura de bares en País Vasco aviva las reclamaciones del sector y varias CCAA planean la desescalada. Des Okay, CCAA. Okay, what is this? This means Comunidades Autónomas. Okay. Oh. Okay. Uh, okay. What is Comunidades Autónomas? So that Sorry. means like the region in Spain. Andalusia is. A... Andalusia yeah. would be one. Mm -hmm. Andalusia, Castilla-La Mancha. Castilla uh, exactly. Yeah. Mm -hmm. No, Madrid would be another one. Galicia. Mm -hmm. Yeah. Right. Uh, yes, yeah. in Spanish, um, you're going to use double letter in acronyms when they are plural. So, okay. for example, United States of America would be written E-E-U-U -U -U in Spanish. Oh, okay. Why? Okay. Because it's Estados Unidos. Estados Unidos. Mm -hmm. okay. And because Estados and Unidos, they are plural, we're going to use double letter yeah, to say that this is a plural. Yeah? I think you know it. Uh, so, 
Um, reapertura means to open again. So re okay. is again, and apertura means open. Okay. Uh, this escalada is uh, de-escalation, literally. Yeah? Yeah. So it's like opening Probably. things up again, coming back to normal. Yeah. So the bars in País Vasco is the bars in country Vasco. The Basque country, yes. The Basque country, yes. Mm -hmm. Okay, we're going to read this section here. So, aunque... Okay. Let me mm. zoom in. Aunque, uh, um, aunque la mayoría de, de comunidades y el ministro de sanidad apuestan por mantener las, restric las restricciones algunos territorios y... Uh, y uh, um, uh, ya, ya, ya han dado pasos para empezar a abrir la mano la hostelería y con la movilidad de sus uh, ciudadanos uh -huh. Uh -huh. Como, como Extremadura, uh, Castilla-La Mancha o Andalucía. Madrid, uh -huh. por su parte, prevé uh, uh, flexibilizar uh, el toque de queda y el cierre de los bares. Ok, eso es todo eso. Although, aunque, although. Yeah. Although the mayor. Ok, mayoría. Ok, mayoría means uh, most of, or the, big, or, the, or the biggest part of, yeah? Okay. Major, majority, basically. Yeah. Mm -hmm. So, ministerio is ministry, ministry, and sanidad means health, yeah? yeah. Uh, ok, apuesta, so apostar is to bet. Yeah, yeah. Or to, to, in this case, we'll talk about choice. So the bet for that choice. Mm -hmm. So or mantener, mantener is to keep. To keep the restriction. restriction. Okay. Okay, here we have a uh, expression. I'll dar, know. dar paso. So dar paso is to go forward or to move in that direction. Yeah. Okay. So mm -hmm. to, to, to move forward. Yeah. So paso okay. means like a step. Yeah. Yeah. Okay. So if, if I say dar paso a. Or that paso para means to go in that direction or to do something like that. Yeah, empezar to start, abrir la mano. This is another, another expression we use in Spanish. So abrir la mano is to lessen restriction, to to let you do do things. Yeah, like I'm not as strict, so they are gonna be to be a little bit more flexible. Yeah. Okay, hostelería. What is hostelería? We use this word when we talk about restaurants, yeah. hotels, yeah? I think that RIA is you kind of just give an example, papeleria and things like exactly. that. Exactly. So. so here we talk about hostel, everything that have to do with guests or tourism in general, yeah? Yeah? Movilidad, okay, this one's easy. Ciudadanos, citizens. Citizens, yeah, yeah, yeah. And here we have three comunidades autónomas. Yeah. So, Castilla Mancha, Andalucía. Castilla Mancha, Andalucía. Yeah. Madrid, uh, as far as Madrid is concerned, so, por la parte de Madrid, yeah? okay. pre, so, pre means pre, and pre. there is to see, so, uh, for C, you could say in English, yeah, or to prevent or to, to prepare for, yeah. Okay. Flexibilize to make it more flexible. Okay. Keyword. Curfew. Okay. Curfew. Oh, okay. So this is a very important word now. Mm -hmm. <laughs> y cierre is to close. close yeah. Third, so. Yes. Yeah. Yeah, cierre mm -hmm. is the cierre, so the kind of close up. Yeah. yeah. So this is the noun. Uh -huh. Yeah. So cerrar is the verb and cierre is the noun. The closing, you could say the closing of bars, yeah? Okay, okay. Okay, we're gonna try this one here. Además. Yeah, además los hosteleros uh, de toda España animados por el, el otro del Tribunal Superior de Justicia, no, Justicia um, de Euskadi que permite reabrir bares y restaurantes han decidido pasar a la acción y estudian presentar uh, reclamaciones por los cierres. Uh -huh. Este miércoles, uh, el, el Ministerio de Sanidad comunicó... Uh, 18.114. Uh, yeah, 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 yeah. Uh, nuevos, uh, nuevos casos de COVID y uh, se andieron... Uh, 
uh, 643 um, 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 nuevos um, uh, fallecimientos a la incidencia acumulada en los últimos uh, 14 días por uh, 100 mil uh, okay. 100 mil habitantes um, uh, se sitúa en uh, uh, 584 584 yeah, frente a 630 del martes uh -huh. ok además moreover Okay. So, hostelero is the people that have a restaurant or a hotel, yeah? people that work in the sector. Okay. Yeah? Uh, okay, animado. So, cheer up, cheer up, or impulse, yeah? So, these are colors. Yeah. Auto. Mm -hmm. Okay. So, so then... animado is like they are now like taking action. Yeah? Mm -hmm. Auto, okay. Auto is comes from actuar, so auto is a, an act of someone. Oh, okay. In this case, we're talking about something. This Justice. exactly. So, in um, the Basque country, mm -hmm. the, uh, the judges decided that it was uh, illegal to to close all the restaurants. Yes. Yeah, so because there is no um, there is no evidence that the restaurant the one that are causing. Um, the rise of the number, you know, the rising number of the coronavirus and all that. So that's right. Okay. Euskadi, okay. Euskadi is the Basque, um, is the Basque name for Basque country. Okay. Oh, okay. Que reabrir, reopen bars and restaurants. So, permit to reopen bars and restaurants. Pasar a la acción. So, pasar a la acción is to take action. Pass an action, yeah. And, and study, present. Uh, okay. Read. This means to, to claim or, to, or to, to sue, basically, yeah, to do something legal, yeah? Like oh, okay. to, to sue. Okay. okay. Or, to, or to, yeah, to reclaim, yeah, like yeah, you, you take it up with the, um, with the legal system, like mm -hmm. people now are, you know, I'm going to take action okay. because the... Because it was closed. Yeah. Kind of. Okay, so this Wednesday... Mm -hmm. the three of the... Okay. Comunicó, so yeah, communicated. Yeah. This many... New cases of COVID and añadir is to add. Add, to okay. add. This many... 643 yeah. new... Okay, fallecimiento is the same as muertes. Yeah, death. Yeah, right, right. Death. So this is like a... Like an euphemism, it's like the the word that sounds most formal, yeah. Okay. La incidencia, the incidence, yeah? yeah. Acumulada en los últimos 14 días, blah, blah. Yeah. habitantes, yeah. inhabitants, is yeah. situated in blah blah blah. So, frente, frente a, so, uh, opposed, yeah, opposed or oh. in front of, okay, mm -hmm. okay. 630 30. of Tuesday. Tuesday. Okay. So basically, they say that the number are lowering slightly, yeah? Uh, right, right, right. So, so I mean, mm -hmm. yeah, that's the thing. Okay. Yeah, actually, okay. this is a good way to, like, because, yeah, and what will happen is I might not be able to follow everything on my own, but I can always use some translators. Yeah, reading like, is a great way to acquire more vocabulary. Yeah, and, and also, like, the thing is it gives the numbers and things like that, so you kind of get familiar. <laughs> <laughs> like, 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 mm -hmm. with the, with the, okay. Like. Pregunta, pregunta. ¿Qué has hecho uh, esta semana? So, okay, so, ¿qué has, qué has hecho? So, so, what did you have uh, this week, kind of? Mm -hmm. uh, so, ¿qué? Oh, I think they okay. just finished. No, ¿qué okay. has, so, so, ¿qué has, uh, has hecho, right? So, hecho mm -hmm. is 